All right, moving on over. This is actually a, a sad story. So switching gears, definitely. So Kiki Palmer's request for a temporary restraining order against ex Darius Jackson and temporary sole custody of their eight-month-old son has been granted. So the court ordered Jackson to stay 100 yards away from both um, Kiki and their infant son until further notice. He's also prohibited from having visitation rights at this time. So Plus Weekly previously confirmed that Kiki filed a petition on November 9th, claiming she has security footage from an incident earlier this month in which Jackson trespassed into her home and threatened her. He allegedly ended up lunging toward her, striking her before throwing her over a couch. In the legal documents, Kiki alleged many instances of physical violence took place throughout her two-year relationship with him, and she confirmed that she ended her relationship relationship in October due to the physical and emotional abuse inflicted by him. He has denied the allegations, claiming that actually Kiki's mother threatened to put a bullet in his head. Parents are getting involved. This is an extremely messy and scary situation. So going back to temporary restraining orders, which we've talked about on this show before, but how long do they usually last for and what is, what is the next step in this process? So uh, going back to our Vanderpump yeah. discussions, a temporary restraining order usually lasts a few weeks, mm-hmm. just enough time for there to be a permanent restraining order hearing. And at that permanent hearing, assuming both parties show up, mm-hmm. um, they'll present evidence, including witnesses, and the judge will have to decide on a permanent restraining order. That could last years, at least in California, it lasts up to five years. Mm-hmm. So. What the judge does in a temporary restraining order situation is essentially keep things at bay, the status quo, until the lawyers can get their witnesses lined up for that mini trial in the permanent restraining order hearing. Since it appears she may have evidence, do you see this becoming a permanent restraining order situation? I think so. Now, a temporary restraining order oftentimes is heard ex parte, which means one party goes in, they don't hear evidence from the other side. So, I mean, again, we saw that with... Uh, you know, the folks involved in Vanderpump when they were able to get the temporary restraining order in that case, not the permanent. But I will say this, judges usually are hesitant to grant temporary restraining orders in family law situations because sometimes people misuse them to gain leverage in a custody situation or in a divorce proceeding. But when a judge grants a temporary restraining order and tells Darius, hey, you can't see Kiki, you can't see your kid, That means that Kiki likely has some pretty significant and compelling evidence. Obviously, video doesn't lie. We haven't seen the video, but I think that Kiki has the upper hand here because she was able to get that temporary restraining order and prevent the father of her child from seeing the child. I mean, then what is his kind of line of defense? Um, And if he is granted or if she's granted a permanent restraining order, how does that affect his visitation rights with his child? It's going to be very difficult. He might have no visitation at all or monitored visitation, which Mm -hmm. means he might be able to see his son for a short period of time, maybe once a week or twice a week, but there might have to be a monitor there. So this is something that's very serious. Obviously, whenever there's violence and kids involved, I'm not saying that Kiki's allegations are true, but this is something that courts take very seriously. Mm -hmm. And there's the possibility that he loses custody. Now, of course, when he comes to the restraining order, he's going to say that there was no violence or threat of violence. So in fact, it was Kiki who was the aggressor. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what sort of evidence he can put on. But so far, he's behind and there's the really real possibility that he's not going to see his child for quite some time. 